Can you run a double roller timing chain on a Vortec block? There's a Vortec 350 088 block. It came with a roller camshaft and a single roller timing chain. This originally had the plastic uh, timing cover with the uh, crankshaft position sensor in it and a little tone ring that sat behind the harmonic balancer. Now, there's a couple things you need to change and a modification you need to, need to make to be able to run a double roller timing chain on this block. So, you're going to need a new timing cover. Now, what you can do is go look up a uh, Vortec, a non-Vortec 350, like a TBI. So you can look up like a 91 Chevy pickup with the 350 and get the timing cover for it. Now, I'll show you the one I got. This is one I've got. I think it was a, I think it's a Pioneer. Um, I already chunked the box. But I, I can put a part number in the description or right here. Yeah, I'll put a part number in the description. Maybe a link to it. Uh, I think I got this on Rock Auto. I can't remember. But it may have been Amazon. But this is the one I ordered. This is just for like a 91 Chevy 350 TBI pickup with a one piece rear main. You know, uh, while you order the timing cover, go ahead and get a crankshaft seal because if you ordered a Vortec gasket set, it's not going to have a crankshaft seal. So get the crankshaft seal with it. So I ordered one of those. Um, you're going to need to get a harmonic balancer. Order the harmonic balancer as well for the same truck. Now you may could get by with running that ring and the original balancer. I haven't tried that. I don't know if there's any kind of interference with this cover in running that uh, pickup ring. My harmonic bal balancer was already showing some cracking in it that came off of this engine. It's probably 24 years old. So I went ahead and just bought a new TBI harmonic balancer, like from that same 91 Chevy pickup, brand new GM balancer. So that'll work great with this. Now for the timing chain, I that was where I had the most trouble trying to figure out what to get. What would work best here? Now, what I came up with was this comp cams 3136. This is a double roller timing set for a roller camshaft. Now, and the crank gear is over on my workbench, but it comes with the crank gear as well. And what you have to do to clear this is the block itself needs to be clearanced. So before you start assembling your block, go ahead and you know, you can hold this, uh, you, what you can do is you can put your retainer plate on, that's what I did, and you can just put your crank, I mean your uh, timing gear up against this, because I mean, in theory, the closest it should get to the block is right here. You know, up, a, you know, it, it shouldn't rub against the retainer plate, but if it if it did get up against it, that's as close as it would go in. That's as far as it would go in. And what you're going to find is the chain and the gear itself are going to rub on, well, in my case, they rubbed on this uh, boss right here in the block. And so while it was all, torn, the engine was torn apart, I just took my grinder and just clearanced out a spot, made sure to leave, you know, clearance it enough to where there's no chance of it ever rubbing. And we're in good shape now. So, I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but when we uh, put it on here, we can look, we've got plenty of clearance in there. You can see, if we wouldn't have clearanced it, it would have been rubbing. So now I know I've got an eighth of an inch and it's all the way up against that retainer plate. 
So that's as far in as it'll go, and I've got an eighth inch gap. So we're good there. So that's it. That's what you've got to do. Make sure to check this because chances are you will have to grind on the block and 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 prepare for that before you start assembling it. You don't want to have this thing completely assembled and realize it and now start have to grind on the block. I mean, you could cover it up and stuff, but it'd be better if you've got it completely disassembled to go ahead and do this clearancing while it's apart and then you can clean it up afterwards. So that's it. Comp cams 3136. Timing cover from a TBI, you know, one piece rear main truck, like a 91 Chevy. And then your crankshaft seal from the same truck and a harmonic balancer for the same truck as well. And, you know, make sure to get measure your old balancer, the distance, you know, because there are different diameters and balancers and that'll make a difference in your cover and your balancer. So make sure to get all that the same. Uh, as far as rotating assembly, these are balanced the same way as the uh, TVI trucks are balanced the same way as like a Vortec 350. So uh, there's no problem there with changing the balancer between those two. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.